time. We'll find out on today's episode of Kid Correspondence. But first... Three, three two, two, one! Happy School Year! <laughs> this program is being broadcast at a top secret frequency. If you are receiving this transmission, then congratulations! You're officially awesome. You're watching Kid Correspondence. Big news for kids. Welcome to Kid Correspondent. I'm Raya. And I'm Titus. We're here to uncover the news kids care about. We put together a super awesome team of super awesome kid reporters to bring you the news from anywhere kids go, which is pretty much everywhere. School is starting soon. And so much is changing. Last year, I went to school at home. I got hugged from my mom in the middle of math. And I went to gym in these leopard slippers. This year, there's going to be new rules and new schedules. And new surprises on every chalkboard. <laughs> like that one. But when so many things are different, how do we know what to expect? What do we do to get ready? And what if something goes wrong? That's why we sent Christian to a back to school training camp to see what kids like you are doing to gear up for school. Christian here at Center Field, where these kids are in preseason training for the first day of school. Okay, summer's over, people. Let's get those minds and bodies prepared for school. Faster, faster! You gotta be late for class! <laughs> no running in the halls! Ooh, a bank sale! No distractions! Uh. Raise your hand! Come on, you know the answer! Ooh. 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 talking until you're called on. And read, and close, and read, and close. Science is heavy. Did you know there are over two billion nerve cells in the human brain? <gasps> I forgot my book. <laughs> Next time, Marcus, be prepared. Take 10, everybody. <laughs> These kids are punks. But will it be enough to get through the first day of school? We'll find out right after the snap. They've all done so much to get ready, and I'm not prepared at all. That's okay, Raya. I came prepared. I've got my notebook, my favorite pencil, <laughs> and my ukulele, just in case. I don't even know where my backpack is. That's okay, Raya. You can have my backup backpack. Wow, thanks. It even has my name on it. Coach Jack would be really impressed on how prepared you are. I'd like to be prepared for anything. Thanks! So, the first thing kids can do to get ready for school is prepare! Exactly. Thanks, Chalkboard. But what else can kids do to prepare? And does anyone else feel this way? Let's go to Maya in the field to find out. Hi, I'm Maya. Kids everywhere are going back to school, and I'm here to see how they're feeling and what they're doing to get ready. How do you feel about going back to school this year? I feel really excited because I'm going to move up a year. I feel excited. I feel kind of happy. I feel really excited. What are you nervous about? I'm nervous about a lot of things. Kind of nervous because I don't want to get separated from my friends. Stuff will get harder. All the math tests. What are you doing to get ready? Cleaning and helping out around with my teacher. Change out everything with new stuff. Packing my bag with all my stuff in it. Uniforms and um, school supplies and all that jazz. What are you most excited about? Playing with my friends. My new pencil case. It's sparkly. Seeing my friends again. My new sparkly backpack. Seeing all my friends. Seeing my friends again. My sparkly pencil case. Looks like kids this year are excited about friends and sparkles. Back to you, Ryan Titus. Thanks, Maya. I can't wait to see my friends, too. I haven't seen any of them up close in so long. Whoa! That's really close. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Viviana, who has the new rules for our school. I'm Viviana with the Inside Scoop. It's a new year at school, and that means new rules. So listen up, because these tips are delicious. What's yum? Getting to actually pick up clothes for school. 
No. Does this one look good? I think it looks good, don't you? Let's try swapping. I think you're out with your Oh, pants. this is wonderful. What's yuck? Going to school in your pajamas. Hey, pajama day is next week. Oh, oh wow. wow. What's yum? Bringing a healthy snack to school. What's yuck? Secretly making pancakes at your desk when you should be paying attention. Anybody got any syrup? What's yum? Being in a real classroom again. What's yuck? Bringing a fake background to class. My arms are tired. My too. Hula, 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 hula. And that's the inside scoop. Thanks, Viviana. Now we have some breaking news from Kristen. Lunch is almost over, and these kids still haven't made it through the lunch line. Take a look. Okay. This is practice, people. Get your food on the tray, get to your table, and eat lunch before the bell rings. Watch out for any obstacles. Go, go, go! Faster, faster! You're going too slow. What are you, a turtle? Get to your lunch table! Move, move! I love lunch. Don't trip over those books. Those nuggets aren't getting any warmer. I love nuggets. I need ketchup. Move, move! Get to your lunch tables. Don't forget anything. Oh, no. I forgot my fork. <laughs> oh, will Viviana find a fork? Or will she have a late lunch? We'll find out right after dessert. Ooh, looks like Viviana could use a little more practice before school starts. So, taking time to practice is another great way to get ready for school. Hello, Chop Lord. We can practice getting ready in the morning or packing our own lunch, just like I did. I guess I need a little bit more practice, too. <laughs> I wondered where my other shoe went today. Let's take a commercial break while we find Rise Lunch. Hey, country fans. It's a new school year, so don't miss out on this new album called The Back to School Blues, featuring our very own singer-songwriter, Maya. It's full of hits, like late to school. Oh my gosh, I missed the bus, and now I won't get an A+. Plus. Broken pencils. My achy, breaking pencil just broke. I wish I had a spare, and that's no joke. Fifth grader goes to college. I'm at the wrong school on the right day. I want to get to college, but not this way. And more. Get yours today. This album is not for sale, because it's not a real album. Wow! I never knew so much could go wrong when you go back to school. I know, but kids can't practice and prepare for everything. So what can we do when things get messed up? I know, we need to ask a grown-up. Hi, Raya. Hi, Titus. It's so good to see you. Hi, Hoda. We're excited to go back to school, but we're also a little nervous. I know how you feel. First days can be a little scary for kids and also for grown-ups. It's good to prepare and practice, but life can still be full of surprises, guys. So then what do you do? You can choose to have a positive attitude. So even if you mean things are different and confusing, you can still think positive? Exactly. Thinking positively can give you a boost and help you deal with whatever changes come your way. All right, can you close your eyes and can you imagine something really good happening? See? You got this. Thanks, Hoda. Wow, so Hoda said we need to think positive, which means thinking about something good happening. Thanks, Chalkboard. I'm going to practice right now. I'm imagining we're about to meet a kid of the week. Whoa, it works. Actually, I knew that sermon was coming next. Meet 10-year-old Evelyn. She's been working hard to get her school ready for students again. She helped plant an arts garden and built a buddy bench so kids can find a friend. Thanks to Evelyn, her school will be more beautiful than ever. I know what else is beautiful? Evelyn's joining us right now. Hi, Raya and Titus. Hi, Evelyn. How do you think your classmates will feel when they see all the work you did? I hope that if anyone's nervous, then they can see the buddy bench and they can feel better. How do you feel about going back to school? 
I feel like going back to school that I'm kind of nervous and scared because I haven't been back in like a year. And so I'm like, ah. How did you prepare for going back to school? I prepared for going back to school by like talking to my friends online. What did you do to practice? I practiced by going back to school by seeing my friends and taking a route around the school with my parents to get the feel of it. Evelyn, you helped your classmates feel good about going back to school. And for that, you get our Kid of the Week trophy. Thank you, Ryan Titus. Bye. Viviana still lost on the lunch line. Let's go live to Christian with an update. Viviana is still trying to eat lunch before the school bell rings. Will she find a fork so she can eat lunch and still make it to class on time? Let's watch. Oh no, there's no forks left. I'll never make it to class on time. Don't give up, Viviana. Keep your head in the game. Oh, Viviana, you can do it. You okay, do I it. gotta be able to figure this out. You can do this. A sport. Yes. Viviana. She mastered the three P's of going back to school, and we can too. Prepare, practice, and think positive. So what can you do if things are scary, or different, or new? You can look inside yourself and know you have the answers. Or you can look at the people next to you, because guess what? They are all feeling the same way you are. If you're nervous, they are too. If you're sweaty, they probably are too. But if you're positive, that feeling can spread. So breathe on, change, because we're ready for you. The only thing we don't know is how that shock board moves on its own. Magic? Hamsters? Magic hamsters! Well, as Carl Sagan said, somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. And that's a great reason for the fourth P.